hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer in adobe photoshop so before any further i do let's get started then now you have to go to your file menu then you select new Then over here we are going to make use of 1080 by 1080 leave your resolution at 300 and rgb color mode because it, this is for social media and over here is our working area now then this is the color code i'm going to use right click to copy it then go to your solid color then select your color also right click over here and paste it then this is our background color now so after this one now then we are going to select our test and at the top you can see the font we are using in this tutorial then go and select the test tool then click here the ctrl plus v to paste and now i'm going to use the font avenir Then reduce the font size. And make a copy of this one. Then duplicate this one. So drag it down over here to make a duplicate. Now you can bring it down. Then select your test to highlight it or press ctrl plus a to highlight then ctrl plus b to paste then increase the size a little position it at the center then also select your test from here And paste it then apply center alignment increase the font size position it at the center then reduce the space then and this is the font I'm going to use so after i copy it then select your font and ctrl plus v to paste you can also see the font there then open the space okay now you position it over there All right. So this is what we are going to copy after we have done with the first one. So right click and make your copy. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then we are going to change the font. And here is the font so make a copy of it then come over here ctrl plus v to paste or you right click and paste it then I'm going to choose champion gothic lightweight now increase the font size Then select your test tool and over here I'm going to cut this one out. Ctrl plus X to cut it. Then increase the size to your own desire. 
or we increase it more then select your text tool and paste the one you copy all right so you position it over there so the next thing i will draw a rectangle then change the color to red hold your control key while you select the rent angle and the test, apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Then align the rent angle. Now we are going to change the font to black. Then go back to your test tool and make a copy of this one. Then highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste and change the color to yellow. Then also change the font to Avenir. Then rotate it vertical and position it over there. You can use your arrow key then to bring it back. Then copy this one, right click and make a copy, or you press Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste, and we are going to change the fonts to Avenir. And take it over here. So the next one is the ministers. So these are the image of the ministers I'm using. So and over here I have already created the the layout of the image. So if you want to know how to do this, then check in the descriptions or go to my previous tutorial on how to, to use Tupac Labs and you will understand about it better on that tutorial. So now I'm going to fix the name. Then paste it. And I'm going to select this one. And over here, make a copy of this font. Then select your font layout and paste it. So this is the font I use over there. And all the font, as you can see them, they are already listed in the test document. So you can download them in the descriptions and use it.
then drag it down to duplicate it make a copy So now, then make a copy of this one. Control plus C, or you right click and copy it. Then select the name. Then highlight it, and you make a paste as usual. All right. Then select it while you bring it closer. You cannot leave it at this position. So yeah, it's okay. So now much better when looking bold. So over here, this one now, I'm going to select this one. Then hold your shift key or control key. Then as you select, and I'm going to group it. Now apply drop shadow. So follow the process and use the code setting over there click OK to apply it so on our team here we are going to apply a blending option so now go to your bevel and emboss then use inner bevel and smooth then on the depth increase the size to four six nine then increase the size to 6%, then angle 90%, and the altitude 21%, and change the contour to this one. Then you leave the rest. Now go back to the second contour over here and select this one. So the last one now is the drop shadow. Now we are using normal blend and the opacity is 100%. Then we are going to apply 90 for the angle and follow the process for the setting over there. Then make it 16. Okay. So leave the rest and apply okay. Now I'm going to apply this background. Change the blending mode to add light. Right click and create a clipping mask. So this is the outcome of the test. So now draw a rent angle. Then close the fill color and apply stroke color. Then increase the size. Also create a shape. This is okay. That is 21%. Then I'm going to reduce the stroke size to 3%. Now right click and rasterize it. Select a marquee tool. Then before then I'm going to bring this one 
so that I will not apply the mark to at the wrong side. Then position it at your, at your own desire place. Then now select the mark to then and drag it to the area. You will cut it out. Then delete. Now deselect. Then copy your test from the test document. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V. Change the font color to black. Also change the font to Avenir. And fix it inside. Increase the font size. Then make a copy of your test. Make a duplicate of this one. Bring it down. Select your test tool and highlight it. The Ctrl plus V to paste. Then make a copy of that one. You bring it down and change the color to red. Then go to your test document to copy this one over here. Then select and highlight it. The Ctrl plus V to paste. So now bring the icon for location, reduce the size. Now make a copy of this one. Select your test tool, the Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to black. Then apply left alignment. Okay, the space is okay. Increase the font size. Adjust this one. Okay, so now we are going to bring our church logo So this is the background I'm going to use first. Now go to your resource document and import this background. Then drag it down. Increase the size. This way is okay. Then go to your filter, select blow, Gaussian blow. Then now make it 20.8. Blend the top over there. Okay. So the next thing, create a new layer, select your brush, then change the color to red, 
and click to apply it once. Then import this background. You bring it down, increase it a little, then I apply multiply. Apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, and you blend the top. That's okay. Then you reduce it this way, take it up over here. Then reduce this angle. All right. So go to the top then and drag it down. Then you position it over there. That is at the top of the previous one. Then you change it to screen, apply your layer mask, select your gradient to and blend this angle on the bottom. Select your gradient to then yeah, why you blend over here? So okay like this. So the next one is to apply this highlight. Change it to overlay. Then now we position this one over here. Then drag it down to duplicate it. I mean, first drag it down to bring it down. Then duplicate it. Position this one around here or any place of your choice. Duplicate it again. And this one will be here. Increase the font size of this test over there. All right. It's now border than before then import this light you position it there then change it to a screen go to filter apply blur and Gaussian blur then make it around 15 15.3 is okay then now we are going to duplicate this one and this one will be at this top position I think here is okay So that is all about this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please kindly subscribe, like and share. And don't also forget to subscribe or join 
the membership channel then you can also order for any graphic using my fiverr account in the description thank you so much for following